everybody! What are you cooking these days? It's summer time, so maybe you guys are, oh, I don't feel like cooking. I don't want to make my house hot. But sometimes we gotta cook, isn't it? So this time, I'm going to make a very simple and delicious recipe with tofu. Tofu soup with clams. Tubu jogeku. This is mild and savory soup. I used to make this when my children were young because they can't eat spicy food. But I want to give them really good, nice protein and very soft and savory kind of a dish. So it will be great for young children and elderly. Of course, you too. <laughs> I need two cups of delicious stock. So I'm using anchovy kelp stock. You guys can make this um, also chicken broth and beef broth. If you are vegetarian, use vegetable stock. I have a recipe on my website. This is four cups of water. And let's add six dried anchovies first. Take off head and guts. Dry the kelp. Just my hand size this amount. And let's boil. These are the ingredients for this today's recipe. This is clams, clam meats. When you go to Korean grocery store, check out the frozen section. You will find some clam meat only and also all remove the old sand and mud. So easy. And I'm going to use this clams and also just tofu. I'm using soft tofu. So either one, soft tofu or, you know, this tofu is uh, when I make uh, sundubu jjigae, spicy soft tofu stew, I use this one. You guys can use either one. But if you cannot find this kind of tofu, any tofu will be working well. But I use this one because it's very soft. I use four garlic cloves. Let's chop it up. Just a half of a medium sized onion. So green onion, I'm going to cut it just uh, around one inch. Heat up the pan, toasted sesame oil, about two teaspoons, garlic and onion. Just stir a couple of minutes until this onion is a little bit translucent. See, nice stock. And this is kelp, don't throw away. So we need two cups. One. Two. You see, looks nice. Gorgeous. Looks delicious. And cover. Let's taste this anchovy kelp stock. Mmm, very nice, delicious. You see, look like this. But I like to wash this quickly. Measure one cup. That's down like this. I use these clams uh, just as they are, but you guys are making for your kind of elderly parents and then you just chop it up little or grind this. And tofu, the 14 ounce tofu. I'm going to rinse this uh, just quickly too. Now, look at that. It looks like not much broth. Tofu, I will just uh, crush this like this. And clams and green onion. All together like this. And another five minutes, that's it. So easy! Another thing, one step is uh, now waiting. To make it more flavorful, I will use a toasted sesame seeds. Two tablespoons toasted sesame seeds. These are home toasted sesame seeds. 
very crispy and nutty. Grind really finely. It almost powder. Wow, it's good, nutty smell. This is a gak kimchi, mustard green kimchi. I made it now well fermented. So good. Looks good. I'll just cut it into bite-sized pieces. And this is my side dish today. This is a pa kimchi I made the other day. Very nice. Now, my soup is done. You see? Wow, look at that. We didn't add any salt or fish sauce. We need to salt this. So one tablespoon fish sauce. A little bit ground black pepper. Turn off. I brought my rice. So still steaming, freshly made rice. And soup. This soups, this is a large bowl. So you can make that like two bowls. I will show you two bowls. Look at that. This is sesame seed powder, right before eating, add center. Just I need only two kinds of side dishes, kimchi, pa kimchi, green onion kimchi, and this mustard green kimchi. All these are recipe available on my website. And this soup is so good, I'm going to taste. Mm. Mm. Little chewy clams and savory broth and soft tofu and some garlic. Really yummy. Mm. Lots of clams. And I usually put my rice into this soup. Kimchi. Mm. It's a pa kimchi, green onion kimchi. More rice. <laughs> mm. So very mild and then go down very, very smoothly. You can serve this for breakfast. Today, I showed you how to make mild version dubu jogekku, tofu soup with clams. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.